What up, what up, what up? It's the Kickback Kid. And this is part nine, man. This game is beyond. It didn't pass the craziness. It's just going to, I guess, top up on craziness. Um, for those who watched all and lasted this long, big ups to y'all. Definitely appreciate y'all from the bottom of the K of uh, uh, KBG's heart, man. I, I really thank you for that. I really appreciate it. I mean, it's a good game. So, I mean, I really honestly can't blame you there. This game is, like, so awesome to watch. It's a good story. That's why I'm playing it consistently. It's like, man. Man, this is what happened next. This, this is a crazy game. However, as you know, I can't get a damn break with Connor, but hey, it is what it is. You know, so yeah, but big ups to the people who watched all the videos up until this point. I really appreciate y'all. We've been playing together for a nah, while. Nah, baby girl, now. we gotta get into this game. I was okay. wondering. Are we friends? Honestly, uh, Oh my gosh, he's asking me. I mean, I usually just curve you and jump right into the game for my subs and for anybody who's watching this video. But you know what? Let's, man, yeah, I guess. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. That's cool. Just don't catch no feelings, though. I don't want one of your crazy glitches where you, like, get all attached or... Think you're human or something, but anyways, we gotta get in. See ya. Alright, here we go, here we go. Part nine, man. Damn man, this game is such a ride. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure y'all know that. I'm not telling y'all nothing y'all don't know. This game is a hell of a ride. <laughs> I mean, man. But um, yeah, so oh, just a brief reminder on this channel, you can find uh, launch less play launch less plays of selected games uh, that I want to play um, retro less plays uh, modern day less plays playthroughs retro playthroughs and all that other good stuff all right we in let's get it oh man we back to this story oh man Okay, so this is the next morning. Uh, we got to get to Canada. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Oh, we in Canada. Come on. I think. It's better if we talk inside. Nothing but salt on that dude's face. Do you think we can trust him? Dude, didn't you bring us here? You don't have a choice. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs?
Man, that dude is salty. He is salted. I already know he's gonna be trouble. He's gonna start something. Watch. Come on, guys. Alright, so this is the room. Where's the girl? Okay, good. Maybe they're unhappy, and they just need someone else to blame. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Oh, Sleep damn, I should've gave it a plate. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep, and tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Don't lie to that little girl. I'll stay with her a while. Rose. Ooh, Christmas. Haha. <laughs> Why right, yeah, let's let's take a look. Where the presents at though? Yeah. Hey. I'm already looking forward to Christmas, babe. <laughs> E3 ain't even here yet. I'll be giving my thoughts on uh, E3 by the way. So yeah. Come to kick back gaming. I didn't get your if name. you want to hear other people's thoughts. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Damn, I should be cautious. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. 
Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly here. Who was... What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! I told you it was assault. His face said it all since I walked through the door. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy.
I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Guys, well, I guess we chill. I, I, I didn't want to. Uh, might as well glance at it. <sighs> well, we chilling. Rose gets back soon. Carol, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. Wait, Adam, that's the son, right? Eh. Let's go see what he want with all his salt. What's up, dude? We don't want to cause any problems for you and your mother. We'll leave as soon as we can. Police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. I knew this was gonna happen. Upstairs. I knew it. Come on, Alice. Oh, no. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, where the where do I go? Should I go upstairs? Back door? I'm going upstairs, I'm sorry. I got 20 seconds. Oh my God. Back here? What are you doing? You closed. I guess I just got to sit in here. Oh man. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing nope. in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? Damn, uh... Wait a minute! No! But we got rid of it.
Come on, walk right. I thought there was no one else in the house. There was nothing. Uh, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. Look, man, you just need to leave. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... Oh! Do you know it. anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. Uh, I better head out. Don't worry about the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing, the, the washing machine. It's an old model, it makes a terrible racket. Step aside, man. Oh my god. Oh shit. Don't move! In there, with them. Keep it rolling, but damn. Jesus Christ almighty. This game is taking me through changes emotionally. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? Captain Marcus. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Quick! 
It's okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? You see the alarm system? Looking for it. I see a camera. Found it. Okay, well, how am I going to get in? That's something I got to figure out. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Exactly what we need to ram this door. What are we waiting for? Come on. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. Jesus Christ, I'm so nervous, man. I, I don't make good decisions though, under pressure. I don't even know what to do. I, I gotta cut a fence, cut the wire. Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget. Oh my God. Ready to make some noise. Oh man. There we go. We didn't deactivate the alarm. Cops are gonna be here any minute. We gotta go. Wait, Marcus, we can't just leave our people behind. It's 
too late, North. We failed. Marcus, we did it. All teams succeeded. Our people are free. We're heading back to Jericho. Shit! We screwed up. Our people are still prisoners in that fucking store, and it's all our fault. No, it's my fault. I messed this up. At least our other team succeeded. How could you get this so wrong? I thought you knew what you were doing. I did what I could. I'm sorry that's not enough for you. No, it's not enough. This is a war we're fighting with the humans. If we fail, they'll destroy us. The fate of our people is in your hands. You have to succeed. You have no choice. Man, I don't know what the heck happened there. Jesus Christ. Man, 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 man. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Look at this pick. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Amanda. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? <sighs> I don't know. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Sure, a lot of us feel that way, Hank.
oh man, I almost got sucked into that. It's just like one of them things, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you can just get sucked into it. Up. Oh, hope I'm not being rude. Glad you will see you now. Oh, what is this down here? Like the artwork. Good artwork in Mr. This Kamsky! Let me take a look around. This is nice. Just a moment, please. Oh. Is this the boss? Are you the guy? See, so you're going for a swim. Hank, watch it. Jesus. Can I go back here? Nah. I'm just chilling, waiting on the big boss man right now. <laughs> Look at this. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of What's more here, important boy. to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? 
This is crazy. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh my god, okay. I don't think I'm going to shoot. Because I'm thinking maybe it'll reveal something like maybe there's a glitch. Like I said, maybe the, the creator gave these things. Well, we know they, they gave him like a, they gave him something else to be more human. I think by pressing X, this is going to reveal it. I think if I shoot, I'm just going to go down the robot route. I don't know what's going to see gonna happen. But I believe that they installed a they, they put a consciousness. They gave it a consciousness in the software they gave it emotions in the software and they gave it the thought that it's a human being so let's see what happens oh damn wait did i press the right button Fascinating. no oh wait don't shoot okay awesome cyber life's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant i'm i'm not a deviant you prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Man. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. so twisted i'm so mentally uh s spun right now if that's even a word meaning uh spin past tense but i'm so my head is so mentally spun right now this is just too much it's like red pill blue pill red pill blue pill red pill blue pill it's crazy every action has reaction oh let me shut up we're back I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied.
I've been thinking about what we should do now. And with everything pulling us towards confrontation, maybe, maybe it's not too late for the humans to listen. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? There was nothing to say. I was a house android, a slave, just like the others. Where are you going? To talk to the humans. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. Hey, baby. Let me go back to you. Oh, wow. You're awake now. This is one more on the edge now. Oh, here we go, right here. Come with us. You're free. He's touching them like Jesus. Okay, I think that's every android in here. I guess we're gonna move out. Wait, is that a droid? Nope. All right, guys, let's rock. So what? You slipped, and both hands landed on the tents. Don't call it a Hold on, I'm sorry, I gotta eavesdrop on this conversation a little bit. It's too much. Hold on, dude, hold on. Let me go by. I wanna hear it. I bet if I go back around.
Okay, they stop talking. I'm done. Let's go. Free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back here. You Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Hello? I need to block the street. Look, they're ready. I think we got one more. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Stick control is terrible. It's just the angles throw me off. Okay, all right, got it, got it.
Hey! Disperse! Disperse immediately! That's an order! I didn't even see that. Jesus fucking Christ! This bed is control 457. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... Freedom! They're marching. Freedom! Yeah, they're marching Freedom! down the street. Freedom! 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 Fuck if I know. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill this is us. crazy. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Chance. This first immediately, or you will all be killed. Damn. Oh God! Ah! Go in. Don't do it, Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. Oh my God, man. your last chance we have to make a statement we have to stay put no matter what please Marcus we can't let them slaughter us without fighting back what the hell man let's go Attack! forget it My freaking god!
Oh god, I'm freaking out. <sighs> oh god. I literally got goosebumps. Stop it right there. This is too much for my head, man. Jesus. What in the name? Oh my god. Um Look, uh if I'm sure you had to at least if you didn't like this whole video and you lasted to the end, you had to like the end. That mess was intense. Man, um, notice I started getting a little uh clutch on the end of the buttons, man. I just didn't want Marcus to die. He's like my favorite character, man. I was like, uh-uh. I kept missing a lot with them buttons, but I started to kind of come through. Man, due to my choices, I don't even know where this game is going to go. I don't know where anything is going to go. Uh, Connor, we already know. He keep dying. But, I mean, this right here is just... I don't know, man. Like, it's in a gray area right now. This story with, with Marcus is really in a gray area. You notice... Uh, uh, during the fight, you know, I, I kept holding back when I had opportunities to kill people. But this is just how I feel. You know, I'm like, I mean, a couple of people died. A couple of humans died. A couple of droids died. I mean, but I mean, I guess that's inevitable. I guess, you know, due to the routes that I took. Um, but I mean, man. So there's this clearly this clearly something there in my decision making, even though I'm really undecisive. That should say a lot. You know, uh, well, I was under pressure and. You know, like like homegirl said, I didn't want us to, to just get slaughtered there. So it was like, I guess we got to fight. But you notice I spared people when I had the opportunity to take them out, you know, so that 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 should tell the human something. OK, I had opportunities to take a couple of you guys out and I chose not to. So I'm not on I'm not a, you know, purely savage machine or something like that. You know, I'm just programmed in a way or glitched in a way to where I really think that I'm you, you know, and um. Uh, I want freedom or peace. I'm an android, but I want freedom or peace. You know, so that's just what it is. Anyways, look, check it out. If you guys enjoyed the video, um, please leave a like. Uh, please comment. You know what I'm saying? Um, and um, please sub, you know, from the ground up. Kickback Gaming. New YouTube channel. Uh, new day. New guy. New everything. You know, um, I'm new to all this. I'm learning as I go along. But, man, this game is intense. I know I'm rambling. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is. You know, the video is already like an hour or seven minutes long. So, look, check it out. Um, this is Kickback Gaming signing out. And I uh, just want to say... Uh, yeah, that's it, man. I'm out. Peace. Like, comment. You gotta like this one.